Hi, my name is Natalie and this is Dylan. And in this video, we're going to show you how to assemble the O Horizons wood mold so that you can pour a filter. Uh, so we have all 13 pieces of the mold over here. Uh, we're going to just show you step by step how to put it together. Dylan's going to help me out here. So this is part B. Okay, that's going to be the back of the filter. And what I'm going to do is put part C onto part B. And put them together with bolts. So what we like to do, or what we suggest to people, is that you use two washers per bolt. So you put one bolt, or sorry, one washer onto the head of the bolt. And then you're, I'm going to put it through these holes right here. Okay, so we have bolt head, washer, and then washer number two. Oh, and then nut. Okay, I'm going to do that four more times. So we put all four of the bolts in on this side, and now I'm going to bring part D over. Same thing is going to happen, uh, but I just want to show you one thing. So what's really helpful is putting markings on the top here, right? So there's one line here, and then there's two lines here, and that just shows me you know, where to line up part C and D against part B. And so as you do, as you assemble the mold multiple times, it just makes it uh, faster. So again, I'm going to put the bolt in back here and we'll do all four of these and then move on to the next step. Okay, so now we have the back part of the outer shell assembled. So part B, part C, and part D. What I recommend is leaving these pieces together. Um, even as you're demolding, just keep them as one piece. It'll be a lot easier and it'll make, um, you know, assembling the mold easier in the future if you just keep these pieces assembled as one. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna move over to part Q. Okay, so this is the base. I'm gonna put it down on the ground here. And we're gonna put the inner core uh, right on the inside here. So again, you'll notice with these markings, right? So I've already written on them before, and you can do this as you're first assembling them, right? So this star here lines up with that star. This square lines up with that square, and so that tells me that this square piece goes on that side of the base, and this star piece goes on this side of the base. Then I bring L and K over, and again, I have the same thing. So I have an X here, and I have X's on this side. Okay, and that shows me that that's where this piece goes. And the reason I've done that is because as you're cutting the plywood, um, these are all cut from the same piece, and um, they just line up better than if I organized it in a different way. So come over, do the same thing. So they all fit in together. And then the dagger board, you'll notice that it looks kind of flimsy, right? Dylan has to hold it up himself. Um, that's because the dagger board isn't in it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dagger board in the middle in between the Y pieces. Um, this hole is kind of in the center of the dagger board, so it doesn't really matter, but if your hole was, say, up here, you want that part facing down, okay? So you want the hole, or if you had handles, you want it facing down towards the ground on the bottom of the mold. Um, that's because when you demold it, you'll flip everything over, and you want the hole towards the top because it's just easier to grab and get it out that way. So I'm going to put it down like this. 
and it should be, I mean, shouldn't be super difficult, but it also shouldn't be super easy because it's supposed to be a tight fit. Okay, so I'm pushing this down all the way to the bottom. Okay, so that it's at the bottom. And again, that's so um, that when you flip it over during demolding, um, the hole and the dagger board are at the top. Okay, so now we're gonna bring the back shell onto these this part of the base, okay? So this is where the outer shell sits. And again, you'll notice the star is gonna line up with this star here, and we have a star on the bottom of the base. That's how I know that this is the back. Okay, so I'm gonna lift it on here. Make sure it all lines up. Okay, so now, First thing you do, we're gonna put, um, and again, see the square and the square. We're gonna put this bottom piece on and Dylan's gonna hold uh, these pieces in. See how they're kind of sticking out? Now that piece is on, the next thing is to put the nose on top. So again, I have these markings so I know where it goes because one piece is longer than the other one. So it's important that you put it on, you know, correctly. Okay, so it's sitting on there. We'll tighten all these up at the end, but this is just the general process. Oh, actually. So, uh, we forgot the lid. So the lid goes on top of the inner core. Um, again, you'll see these markings, stars and squares. They don't have to be stars, they don't have to be squares, they can be whatever you want. Um, and so this just sits here, it holds everything together. You'll notice the tube hole is at the front, okay? So you want the tube hole to be facing the, the nose. Okay, so we have the nose part on and everything else is assembled. What you wanna do is now you gotta make sure that your tube gets in there. This is how the water comes out of the filter, so you can't forget that or else your filter will be useless. So what I've done is start threading the tube through this hole. So what we're gonna do now is bring it over here. It's gonna come up and underneath. Probably need to pull this a little bit more. You want just a little bit, like probably only that much, into here, okay, because that's this is basically the inside of the filter. So I put it in. It should only be sticking up just a little bit. Put that back on. The rest of this should be pretty taut because concrete's gonna be going in here. So this tube will get stuck inside the concrete wall. So I'm gonna pull this a little bit. We're gonna Put it on here. Line it up. Side of the nose here, see how it's coming down underneath. You don't want that to happen. So, what I'm going to do is lift it up. Make sure that the nose is in the proper place. Okay. all your bolts in again. Make sure the nose is secure. Okay, you don't want the nose to move around. It's okay to have extra right here. Right, so I have, we have a lot extra here. Um, you won't, when you install the filter, there won't be this much. You'll cut it down here, but it's actually helpful sometimes to have extra when you're assembling 
just to work with it um, and make sure that it's tight enough. So I'm going to tighten this a little bit more because there's some a lot of slack on the inside of the filter. So I'm going to tighten that just a little bit. All right, so I have a lot of extra. This was five feet of tubing. You probably only need four, um, and that would still give you some extra to work with. And you cut it down. This is where the water comes out, okay, because this is actually the top of the filter. So then you would cut it like right here, pretty close to the bottom, because you don't want too much sticking out, because then people will touch it and it'll get dirty, and then the water coming out of the filter would be dirty. So this is all completed. We'll just tighten up the bolts. And then the next thing to do is pour concrete in here. But that is for another video another time. So thank you.